Good evening, crafters. Okay, so tonight we are going to be using, if you want to craft along, we are going to be using some, our big light bulb stamp. But if you don't have that one, you know, you can grab your dragonfly art or your um, time measure or something like that, or the, the scripted B. Um, we're going to be using some lovely inker balls i just went through and picked the ones i thought would go believe it or not and this is what came out so you know any of the above there um and i'll be using um distress ink you know you can use your regulars or oxides either is good or you could use your ink tents as well i might use my ink tents okay so let's not commit to that right now um and some stamping and all that sort of jazz we all know it won't follow the path that i plan no matter how well i plan it um so i look a bit dark tonight and i'm not really sure on my desk and i'm not really sure why let me see if i can readjust that light a little bit better i don't think it's made any difference whatsoever so right let's just hang on a mo now and wait on anyone else who wants to join in with you know whatever else is going to happen next oh yeah i have also picked up um because i thought them they, they'll go well with that my um sound wave borders and i haven't picked them up at all because i can't find my texture borders not at all um so yeah it's fine it's fine it's fine all right so whilst i was supposed to be tidying my desk ready for this live instead of tidying my desk ready for this live i was sort of having a little bit of a sort out of my mdf drawer this craft room is by no way tidy in fact it's got to the point where i'm actually going to have to do something about it because i've now lost stuff can't find my texture borders and i've looked in all my folders i cannot find my sharpie pencil case yes i have a pencil case just for my sharpies um and a few other things that's starting to bug me that i don't know where they are um so yeah i am actually gonna have to tidy pretty soon um have i recovered from charmaine yet no i have not for those of you that don't know in the crafting together all brands group yesterday myself and charmaine had a sort of craft off challenge um and we were given um items we had to use uh, <laughs> um to make a challenge basically using a toilet roll inside um so you can check that out if you're in that group or i have also uploaded it to the bee crafty youtube channel where you can also subscribe um it's about an hour and a quarter of me and charmaine from dolly dimples just bantering at each other but there was crafting done um you know i'll give you a quick this is what i made um so you see it all because i did it all live um on facebook live so it is all there right okay sammy's here um so she will be providing links i'm sure um and we'll go so yes whilst i was supposed to be um prepping my desk and whatever i was having a little play in my sort out of my um mdf drawer but what i mean by play with it i was actually just trying to get it open because there's that much mdf stuck in it i couldn't actually get it open um so i managed to squeeze some things out and that's where i came across this tag now this is one of the medium tags um all the bee crafty mdf tags are on the website um and we do them in the small the medium the large and the xxl so this is a medium tag um, and it was already primed um which I don't always do. If I'm painting it in a colour, I don't always, in fairness, I very rarely prime it in all honesty. But this one was already primed. So I'd obviously had a plan for it at some point. So basically, I've just gone out in with my ink tents um, and just highlighted some areas. The colours are actually quite rich on there, you know and added in a few bits but i really like this bit white so i am going to leave that white um 
but I might go in and add in some more bits later. But I wanted to show you it. Yeah, Captain Squeaky's back, isn't he, Gail? I wanted to show you it because obviously your light circuit, your light bulb circuit is a big stamp. This is your biggest super skinny slim. Okay, so if you've had them in the set of four off a of Chanda or you've had them off uh, bcrafty.co.uk, um, you know, it's it's the biggest super skinny. Okay, so the stamp's approximately A5. It's a really big stamp. And this is, depending on how you look at it, the second sm smallest tag we do. Um, so it was just to show you that you can use these big stamps, and that's your Dragonfly art, your scripted B, all of that with the smaller tags and sort of pick out where you want to go and i think they create a really really nice feature almost not using it all it is very clean isn't it i know man um so you've got that it's not always using the whole of the stamp in the entirety you know you can use sections of it however what we're going to do with the journal page i'm going to attempt to do now is we're actually going to use this and actually extend it out using templates and other stamps okay so we're going to do completely the, the opposite so we're not going to go smaller we're not even going to go actual size we're going to try and extend it out using other elements which is why i very about that i have to say this is my favorite paintbrush i'm very very protective of it it's just got a really small sort of flat top there it's great for coloring and going around lines um me and Sam are at Hachanda, and we're making sure that we we try we try not to pack each other's stuff up. Doesn't always work. This is the only thing I actually chase down. If she gets anything else, I'll live with it. But this is my paintbrush, and she can't have it. <laughs> it's bizarre, isn't it? It's not the things of high value. It's the things of, you know, the things that you like to use a lot of. Right. So I'm just going to put these to the side right now, and I'm going to get in my journal because my um my large now i have actually you know how i've been using this a lot by choice you know i've been doing different pages in it this is the page if you didn't get to join us last week this is the page we did last week and again um if you missed it you can either catch up here on uh facebook i will be putting it on um instagram but it is also on youtube right now okay anyway i'm starting to waffle so yeah so this is the pad that is currently my favorite i think someone put on there it's it's from the range it's fantastic and there's another one there's another one we did a couple of weeks ago again facebook and youtube um but i've now this is no longer an option for me this is what it has to be because young abigail has taken my um, big dilutions journal. <laughs> so this is where we are. Right. So um, I don't know whether to work landscape or portrait like I did last week. I think I'm going to go portrait. Okay. So I'm going to get. What am I going to do? Or do I do? I'm going to use both, I think. I think I'm going to use oxides and some ink tents. Right, so first of all, I'm going to put some oxide on here. Okay, I'm going to spritz it with it. I want it quite wet. And I'm also going to spritz this bottom corner of my paper so it's quite wet. Okay, and I'm going to lift that up. Oh, okay. And do a bit of drying in between yeah so you can see on the mdf tag i did i was using yellows reds oranges this is going to be more this is going to be colder colors this is going to be blues greens yellows which is yellow is technically a warm color but i'm going to be using it more in the guise of like a i'm just going to run that a little bit There we go. Um, in the guise of a citrusy green. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to build up some layers. Like I said, you could do this with your 
um, ink tints or watercolours um, in any journal or paper you've got. Okay. Okay, so Gail has just put on that she has the small light bulb. Um, obviously, you could use the small light bulb and just build up some background with some background stamps, maybe. That'd be quite cool. I'm just going to get my little paintbrush and pull. There we go. That's my tea towel. That drop was annoying me. Okay. So I'm not going to lie, I'm actually not going to put quite as much water on next time because that was just too much for words, putting the water on in two places. So I'm just going to really heavily water it on here. I've really got to tidy my desk, this thing's literally falling all over me. Okay, so again, focusing on this corner. And then we'll tip it up to dry. Because I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for a bit of white space in this one. Um, and see what happens. Not always me. Absolutely, you know, if like I say, I'm using the um, big light bulb tonight, but you could use the dragonfly art or, you know, the script to be, anything like that really. I have just gone to pick a paintbrush up and the top's come off. Oop. Right, so I'm just going to add some mustard seed. I got basically my, the ones I like out in this sort of side of the colour wheel so that I could pick and choose. So the mustard seed I'm actually going to edge into the other corner and then run that down as well Oops, and then up into the top slightly and we want this to be nice and dry so when we stamp on it I took ages to get going tonight guys oh, I'm sorry um, I hope you're all okay I'm getting on all right right so that is now getting to a place where I'm quite happy right. I'm just gonna take that off that righty hole so from here, I'm just going to push them out of the way because I'm working portrait and need a little bit more room. Um, from here, we're going to stamp our big stamp. So if you're using your light bulb circuit, that's what we're going to use. If you're not using a light bulb circuit, whichever one you are using. Okay. Now, when I put these stamps together, these are what we refer to generally as my digital art stamps because I, I make lots of little digital elements and then layer them up. It's the same with the, um, uh, like the scripted B, for example. I love just layering them up and it's just a different, 
it's just a different way because obviously we still do the majority of all of our stamp designing um with a pen and pencil um on paper so in all honesty my digital art stamps as i refer to them um are me practicing doing digital work um, and when i get something i like i like it okay so that's that in the corner there so i'm gonna move that to the edge now what i want to do is now expand this outward so it goes sort of goes off in an l okay so i'm going to do that in two ways i'm going to use templates and i'm going to use stamps so i have got several templates and several stamps that i think work with this in a really good way it's going to help me to do that okay um so in the inkables just in case you are crafting along and you want to grab those as well um i've got my regular dots do i need a dark piece of card or can you see that yeah it's all a bit much isn't it let me just grab this okay so i've got my regular dots which is regular dots because it's the same side dots over and over again i do have people ask me if you could we can do these on a diagonal absolutely there you go right and then the perspective dots so that you can work out words so if you are trying to extend an image sort of like this you can actually fade it out almost the honeycomb because there is honeycomb in the stamp so i thought that would work um the splats just well you know the triangles and stripes again the stripes so we can extend it out extend it out. and the metalwork alpha because it's awesome and quite industrial looking um so i thought it would go so if you are using something different um you know pick templates which you think work best with yours you know like we always say oh captain squeak is back with a vengeance like we always say when we're on the telly box or it shows or anything like that we are here to tell you what we do and blah 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 and blah 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 is kind of a lot of what we say a lot of the time okay but we're not set there isn't a rule it's not like it has to be done the way we do it it's not you know crack on you know we're not here to tell you a way is right or wrong we're just here to tell you the way we do it i'm gonna do that so you can see what i'm doing is i'm dragging the image outwards across and this is basically as much sp white space as you're ever going to get and in all honesty i am contemplating putting some splat over yet i'm just gonna put that one there for now see if i can resist any more okay i think that's just enough blue so i'm going to go on to the evergreen bow and again so you can see this is the perspective circles so you can just work them out and then they sort of fade out so again sort of work them out fade them out and then if you want to add in some extra little ones up there you can and it's sort of yeah and then some regular dots i'm actually going to go onto here a little bit with some regular dots because they're just lovely okay so there's a lot i think to be really happy with that okay because we've expanded that out we've got you know our templates on there and you can see that a layout like this is really mix and match it is a case of using what you have um, and in all honesty i was more than planning to do another light bulb and layer it up and all this sort of thing but i'm quite pleased with how it's looking so i might go in with some ink tents and just highlight some separate areas instead of cutting out a whole new one okay so like i said we've extended out with the templates but that's not enough to extend it out because of the black stamping okay so what we're gonna do 
is we're going to go to see i haven't lost everything so i've got my texture circles okay so again if you have these off a of chander you they, these will come with your texture borders which i think will really work well with this but i have temporarily misplaced mine so i've got those and i've also got my stitchy borders which you know never fail to impress and we have got the tape measure in there which i think will work with this really nicely okay what we want to do though is try and make sure that we don't overlap where we don't want to as you can see so this this image is made up it's it's an old-fashioned edison light bulb which i've put you know a 21st century circuit in or a 20th century circuit in so it is a case of overlapping and then you've got these overlapping the text and what have you so there is a lot of overlapping so it's not something you need to worry about too much but with things like the measuring tape because they do come to a dead stop i sometimes think it is best to put them somewhere where there is a dead stop so for example that line there would be a great place to line up the measuring tape because that's where it would come to a natural stop it's just my opinion and i could be overthinking it if you can imagine okay so i'm actually going to put that exactly where i just said okay um oh let me have a look oh everyone's just playing up i'm so sorry this did happen to us yesterday um when charmaine and i were doing our challenge um i think it's just so much broadband in use at one time across the country um but i will say i will say mum went back and watched that particular challenge last night and it was fine so if you are so if you, it does get really really bad you know it's, it's cool to watch back so i've put that measuring tape in there and you can see it's immediately pulled this out so it doesn't come to an absolute stop which is fantastic so i'm going to go and i'm going to get some of my stitches now to do that and pull this one out this way i've also brought some of my background stamps some of these are older ones that we that we want to sort of relaunch um and they'll be relaunched in sets but we do have some individually at the minute so i'm going to take this one as well i'm going to put it there because I don't want it all the same height. I want it to almost. What you, what I think is good is if you can make it look like you have put all of the stamps on, and you have created the collage. Collage. It sounds like such a silly word when I say it like that. Collage. Any road. Okay. So this one is the sort of. It's not so much a stitch. It's a inky, splatty sort of border because you know I, I find it impossible to do an inkable set with a uh, stamp set without one um so this this one will go with literally any stamps i honestly think you know from anything from like the hand-drawn journaling girls to jane's um designs you know from the da vinci stuff to this stuff to the doodle art just works absolutely works right so i'm gonna go into there with that one and then wow go. again i'm going to line that up with that line there okay so i had someone ask me the other day we were talking um via messenger it was just a little chat somebody fancied a chat and again we are still available for that of course um and we were just having a little chat and then it actually turned into something craft you know usually it goes the other way um and they were asking do i do i always use the super skinnies or do i also use the standard slims that we that we launched with which is the five mil and the answer is yeah i do still use both to be honest this size which was our very very first mountain block this was our very very first one um because most of our stamps at the time fit on it and this is a five mil block so you can see the super skinnies are much much skinnier and that's why they've got that little bit of flex to them never ever over flex them it is still acrylic okay but your slim so this is a slim and this is a super skinny slim 
obvious reasons. Okay, so your slims, they are still brilliant. And in fairness, this size block is still ridiculously handy. I'll tell you another one that's really, really handy. I've probably lost it because it's little. Yeah, I have. So this one, this one was designed for your Excel backgrounds, like your script and your crackle which I very rarely meant anyway, but that's what that one was designed for. But, so, you know, I do still use both. I do still use both. I keep them all in a packet, and in fairness, I just tend to grab whichever one I need. The reason I always seem to be using super skinnies at the minute especially is because that's where we have this big block. So that's why. Okay. Um, right. So now I'm going to add in some of my texture circles um, and I don't know if you've um, if you've heard me say this before but the but my stamps as you can see are like my hands I don't know if that's in actually and really really dirty um, in all honesty I only clean them when they stop sticking so for example this is going to have to be washed in warm soapy water because you try and stick it on the thing and it just comes off because it's lost its stick because it's so dirty. It picks up dust and embossing powder that's left over and whatever. So if you're like so, if your um, be crafty stamp stops sticking to either your laminated backing card or the acetate or your acrylic block, warm soapy water and then put them out to dry, not touching each other, and that will re get their sticky. Um, I don't clean them a lot because I actually think the more. Um, I find the more a stamp is inked, the better it performs. It's just it just gets better and better and better. Um, obviously not with alcohol-based inks though, because they will eat them. Nom nom nom. Right. So moving on though, I'm going to use my slimmy here actually. So I'm going to use some of these texture circles, and again I'm pressing these on quite firmly because they all need a wash. Okay. Um. So, sorry, I'm just going to have a quick glance over to the comments as well. Sarah Lou, use your super skinnies for the first time as I normally use a platform. And the results were brilliant. I'm converted. Fantastic. That is so cool. Well, this is one of these things that sounds like a line and it's not a line. It's actually true. Last week when I did the scripted B, um, I'm actually going to put that with that little arrow in the middle. And then that really looks on purpose, doesn't it? Um, I tried to stamp it because I wanted to cut out, you know, I did some cutout elements on it. I had a little platform to play with. Um, I, I bought just a cheap one, to be honest. Um, but, it was, you know, the cheap ones work okay as far as I'm aware. Turns out not for me. I cannot stamp with one. No, nope, can't do it. I tried. I promise I tried. I really did try. I'm very trying. Anybody will tell you that. Um, but nope. Was not doing it for me at all. Could not get that thing to stamp cleanly. Um, so I think it's one of those things. Um, I think platforms have definitely been great for some people that have um, dexterity issues and whatever because you can pl apply that even pressure which is absolutely fantastic but i will say um if you if that's the first thing you bought to do your stamping with and it's not working for you and everyone says oh well that's the easiest way to do it don't give up just try something else honestly everybody has their favorite blocks their favorite pair of scissors their favorite white pen um and and that's the thing it's just finding what works for you okay so that's a fabulous okay so you know th this is what we're saying about the border stamps you can just keep building out now i did also bring out what did i also bring out my sound waves now this these again these most of these have been converted over into a set but i think we do have some individuals left over um you can see which are my favorites <laughs> on here this one again needs cleaned is the sound wave dots okay because we have sound wave dots aztec aztec wiggling heartbeat 
okay um and these are brilliant not only to go with like sort of music based projects obviously um but in my opinion in my opinion they also go great i'm just working out where to put this now with you know anything industrial or to be honest the wibbly one is great for a c type stuff as well or any of your art journaling backgrounds really i think they're just absolutely luscious put that one in there okay and i also like i said got these okay here we go sorry i'm just having another quick look what is the border stamp you're using now i need to add them to my order they are the stitch borders okay so this is this is the thing now you see you can tell my stamps because they're all in non-coloured in packaging and obviously we've introduced a lot of coloured in packaging um there are still quite a lot of stamps in the shop and because of obviously environmental stuff we don't want to waste packaging um for stuff that's already packed up um but all your backdrops now um the new ones all come in a coloured backing so this was our original this was our very first set of four textures okay so we've got a like a sort of crackled distressed diamonds what's called the retro dash and dots the checkers and the dots here and this was my first go at using a paint splodge to create a stamp because i did the paint splodges and then converted it to a stamp so again that's really quite handy but what i'm going to use off here is these distressed diamonds okay because they're lovely okay I'm going to put these i'm actually going to do me a little mask with a piece of card oh, right oh hello i'm going to put these out of here and then i'm going to re-ink and put them <laughs> actually coming out of here okay and this is the thing so that now looks like a totally enormous stamp you know that is a hundred you know it's it's almost 100 percent bigger because that's an a5 and now we've taken it almost to an a4 in size um and stamping that all out clean would be a nightmare so this is why you can take things like your scripted b your light bulb circuit and then expand them outwards if you want something bigger to cover your journal page now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to use a small sentiment this evening not to mention sorry someone i did see just at the corner of my eye someone talking about the small light bulb so if you did want to have a go at building something like this you can see the light bulb is a lot smaller but you know if you on a smaller scale your light up is, is also excellent you know that's one of those people say oh what would you pick <laughs> i wouldn't okay so this the word I'm going to go for on here is this really big create. So I'm just going to turn this sideways. So this is one of the journal words, but I think these words are in art stamps because they were seen more for art journaling. Okay, so these are the big art journal words. Um, I'm, I'm sure Sammy's probably burning herself out trying to keep up with links for you because i know i have referred to a lot but um obviously if there's anything you can't find and sammy hasn't had a chance to get to it because i know i've been referring to a lot then just let us know and we'll point you in the right direction hopefully <laughs> okay so i'm going to take my verse fine again i'm going to go over here and we're going to just put this right in this top corner okay
So you can see this journal page, in my opinion, is really, really wicked. Um, and I'm actually, I'm actually liking this white spirit. I know it's got a little bit in it. You know, it does have a little bit in it. I can totally see that. But you can then go in if you want to. And I'm going to use my ink tents for this. And I'll tell you for why. Um, you could use your the colours of your Distress Oxide, absolutely. But I feel like I've wasted a lot of them recently, dabbing them onto my mat. Um, so I'm going to do this bit with paint. Um, I've got And I've got that many unfinished tags. I just, seriously, I just don't feel like I can... I'll ever get them finished. I mean, I will. Of course I will. But while my craft room's in such a hideous mess, it's very unlikely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my ink tents. You could use your watercolours. You could use your... Sorry, walking and talking. Um, you could use your uh, pencils, pens, sharpies. If you haven't lost your Sharpie pencil case. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Um, you know, and, and, and highlight bits. You don't, it's not like you have to have exactly the same things as me. It's It's literally just saying, because the thing is, we've all been out, you know, to shows or... Now watching Telebox, you've seen a great deal for some colouring items, say some a nice paint palette or you know some really nice watercolour pencils, and then the next thing you know, everybody on Instagram or YouTube or something like that is using exactly what you've got, but a different brand or it's a slightly different whatever, and you're thinking. Bum cheeks, have I bought the wrong thing? You haven't bought the wrong thing. It's what you wanted, it's not the wrong thing. It's just learning to use it in the in the way you want, that's all. Okie dokie. So we're just going to put I don't think I want to put too much on, in all honesty. My art journal pages um are usually one of two things. They I usually either start it off and I'm halfway through and like, this is terrible. This isn't what I wanted to happen. But so I just keep going until I like it. That happens a lot, to be honest. Um, or, or what is happening now is I really like it and now I'm scared of ruining it if I do keep going. But I just don't feel I've been on it long enough. That's the problem. Do you know what I'm going to go for? Where's that citrusy green? I'm just going to add in a line of citrusy green. That is nice. Put a citrusy green down there. And rule of three, where else going to put citrusy green? In that arrow. Right. Do you know what? I am going to stop soon because I'm just, I am worried about getting it to a stage where I don't like it. Um, right, so just a quick recap if you've joined in. Obviously, you can catch up with this video on Facebook and it will also be on YouTube later, which confuses the viewers that, you know, weren't commenting. Um, but that's cool. Um, so what we started with, we used Distress Oxides to create the background. We have used, and Sam has been putting links in for you, we have used the XL circuit, light bulb circuit, stamp, which in all honesty, I think sometimes can be a touch overlooked because it is quite industrial. But that doesn't mean it cannot be beautiful because I think this is absolutely lovely. I'm so happy with it. Um, you know, so we've added that on and then we've used... Oh, see, my, they're, like, they're, like I said, they are falling off. The stitched borders, we've used the texture circles, we've used quite a few inkables on there as well. And today, 
I was very conscious of wanting to concentrate on the 6 by 6 inkables because I know a lot of the time when I demo, I'm either using big ones or dinkables a lot when I'm on telly especially. But when I am crafting, and there isn't a camera pointing, I use the 6 by 6s a lot. I use them really a lot because the range is so big. There's so much on there. Um, and by the way, I will say this, the, the Inkables range is really quick to add to. Um, we're able to do that, you know, almost within a, within, within a couple of days. So if there is a 6x6 or a Dinkable or whatever that you think that's missing and I need that, please let us know. We will get it. We will get it and we'll get it sorted for you. Okay. So... Just so you don't all think I have gone totally crazy. Well, that one stopped working earlier, didn't it? Right. I'm going to grab my Ink, ink Central's white pen. You know. Because why wouldn't I? I'm going to add in some white details into. And go along here. Go along here around here as well okay I think I had somebody asking me the other day what's my favorite white pen is I'm sure I might have seen that okay so let me give you a breakdown of the white pens I have literally right in front of me right now okay so I have a wink of Stella white I have an Ink Essentials white. What's that? A Ranger white. I have a white Sharpie, but they don't make these anymore. This is the problem. Another white Sharpie. Dilutions white linen pen. Another white Sharpie. Uh, white Hybrid gel. A white Signo Uniball. And another one. It doesn't have a lid on so, in all honesty, I don't have a favourite white pen. My favourite is white pens. That's it. And I will say, I've always liked a white pen. I think it's because they were elusive at the time. Trying to get white pens that worked has never been easy. Um, but I used to do a lot more doodling in black. But it's, it's, so in recent, it's only in recent years I've picked up a different pen. The signal. Um, so only recently I've really gone for the white, and now it so, so, seems to be a sort of trademark of mine. I mean, it's not an actual trademark. That would just be silly. All right. So I'm going to add some white to the underside of these chevrons here. And again, I mean, I wanted to concentrate on the six by six inkables tonight. But, you know, we've got some fantastic chevrons in the dinkables. You could add those in, even with a black ink if you wanted to. Use your black soot. Or even your Versify. And add those in to expand the stamp out in a way, you know, you wanted to. So, yeah. Um, so I'm just clicking over and someone's saying about the, the Sharpies came in white. Yeah, we used to have, we used to buy them in, like 100, and, 100 plus at a time. Um, and then we stopped being able to get them. And nobody at Sharpie is responding to my emails. Um, so I'm just going to go down, maybe it's because they know I've got some sort of fixation. But as well, I think this is a good, honestly, I can quite honestly say I have had, uh, and by the way, I'm sorry about using the phrase honestly, it's like I've replaced to be fair with honestly. Junk words, we all have them, you know. And it's like, I was talking, Ali Reeve was on a, on, a, on a group the other day and I was talking to her about it. And the more you try to not say something that you know you say, that's coming out. Can't stop it. That is coming out. Because it just does. Okay. I think I'm going to have to stop soon. Because this is going to go to a bad place where my, I, I get unhappy with it. 
Right, one more. I'm going to do that arrow. Or arrow, if you prefer. I'm going to go around that circle just to make sure no ink's leached out because I want it to be white. Okie dokie. Right, then I'm just having a quick look at the comments to see. Yes, Sam has. So I can see you guys are saying I have some sort of white pen fetish. Um, which, okay, I'm not going to contest. I'm really not. Oh, I've just seen my Sharpie pencil case. Oh, my gosh. It was in a basket the whole time. Sorry, distracted now. See, that's my Sharpie pencil case. It says on it, Bev Sharpies. That's all my Sharpies. Which, in fairness, Sam lovingly went through and put BJT on all of them. Um, anyway, sorry, distracted. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so yes, I, will, I won't contest the fact that I have a white pen fetish, but Sam just has a pen fetish. Don't ever lend Samantha a pen. She loves pens. She just, yeah, loves them, adores them. Any sort of pen. Any sort of writing implement, actually. She likes pencils and everything as well, but pen, she loves a good pen. Loves a good pen. If she finds one she likes, she actually... I have seen Sam. Not a lot. Because like I say, we do most of our drawings with pen and, and paper. Um, so I have seen Sam go into a stationery shop and buy two dozen of the black pen she likes to draw with. Because she's worried she won't be able to get them anymore. Two dozen. That's 24 of one type of pen in black. Because that's the one she likes to draw with. You know the funny thing? I don't like to draw with them at all. That particular one. I have my own favourite black pen. <laughs> but we're all different. Which kind of goes back to what I was saying. Um, so in all honesty guys. Um, see I've just done it again haven't I? In all honesty to be fair. This is a stamp. That I enjoyed creating in terms of the imagery. But I don't play with enough. And then tonight, because we decided this is what I was working on, and I had a little go. Sorry, guys, um, if you're just coming in. This is a tag I had a go with before I went live. Um, this this tag, I was just having a go. It's sort of, that's what it sounds to get me. I always say to you guys, don't, don't I? If you're having trouble with your mojo, grab a tag and go. Um, and I think, because I, this isn't a stamp I've, I've played with in a little while, um, and I knew this is the one we were using, and I saw this gesso tag when I actually got my MDF drawer open, and I was like, oh, I'll have a go. And I absolutely love it. So I think, I'm going to see if I can get all three things I want to get in. Let me, right, if I push what's here, there is a chance it's all going to go straight off the side um, of my desk. So I'm just going to push these slightly out, because I want to show you. So, this stamp is a big stamp. I'm absolutely not denying that at all. It's a big stamp. But I think you can see that you can use it on a smaller item. You know, you've got the A5 sizes you can obviously use it in as well. And then you can expand it out with other textures, other borders, and your um, inkables as well. And I think... It's just really telling of how much fun I've had with it, just adding in extra bits and just and just colouring it in. That I'm re I'm really really pleased with it, and I think it's much more delicate than sometimes you look at it and you see the circuit and you see the light bulb and think it's industrial, but it's not. I think it's much more delicate than that, and that's lovely. I'm really happy with it. So, thank you very much for joining me. Sam has put links on, but all the products are available on the Be Crafty website anyway. Um, if there's anything else you would like to see, or anything you'd like us to do a video of, Sam's going to be set up for doing videos soon too, um, then please let us know, and we will crack on and get that done. Similarly, if there's any, like I was saying, we can turn... Um, Inkables, inkables, big ones into reality exceedingly quickly. If there is anything that you would like to see added to that range because you think there's a gap, again, let us know. You could put the two... Sorry, I'm just having a look. Marcy and Moore, you could put the two projects together for a sort of spotlight technique. You could. 
Oh, see, the only issue is. It's not really an issue, is it? Dee dee dee. Yeah. I've got to be honest, that's quite spiffy. If that was on cardboard and I could put it flat, you know, bring two sort of cars here. Well done. Blooming awesome. See? You guys, you go on about not having any mojo. You've got stacks of mojo. Multitudes of mojo. That is really awesome. I'm going to have to do some spotlight technique tomorrow now. Anyway, so yeah, Sam's put all the links on. All the inkables are on the website. You the because of the amount of inkables and dinkables and that now they are broke down it broke broke down broken down into section. So you do have inkables six by six, inkables big ones, inkables dinkables, so on and so forth. Um, so you can find them all separately. If there is anything you can't find, please let us know. Thank you so much for spending your Tuesday evening with me and Sam and each other as well. Um, and again, if you are just tuning in or you're following us up, you know, there's loads more Facebook Lives. Try it out Tuesdays on the Facebook page you can catch up with. And there is also, also, um, loads on the YouTube channel, including, um, if you go to the Bee Crafty YouTube channel, there is a playlist section where you can watch all of Jane's videos using Bee Crafty stamps. You can use, you can watch Kaz's little videos that she's done. She's done some fantastic shorts, um, you know, making on, on the YouTube channel as well. So there's lots on there. And yeah, if there's anything else you need, please let us know. All right then, guys, have a great evening. Bye.